Jack, I don't know what to say about killing Mbappe. You know, again, at a time, one of my favorite players in my eyes, probably the best player in the world for for what he was able to do, the, like the kid prodigy. We remember what he did in Monaco. But he's turning into a bit of a monster, Jack. Mm-hmm. It's getting it's 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 getting completely out of hand. And guys, in in case you don't know, if you haven't seen the like the video yet, PSG are, are on the counter attack. Mbappe is off the shoulder. He wants the ball, and it's a very hard pass for, for, for like one of his teammates to make. That he doesn't get the ball. He throws his hands in the air mid attack. Now the ball, PSG make the attack, and the ball flashes across the box. And if Mbappe carries on his run. He more than likely will get a tap in there. Also, James, I was thinking about this the other day. With a player as quick as him, it's not even up for debate. It's not like it's not like oh, if a fullback or a wingback can like really put if really they put their foot foot against the floor, they can make like no. Kylian Mbappe can get there and not break a sweat. That's what's so disappointing about that. I was thinking about that yesterday. To me, just giving up on a play, play as your team is playing and he's at the halfway line, throwing up his hands in the air, and then like yeah, the incident with Neymar where he misses a penalty and, and goes to Neymar. I want to take, um, I want to take the. I want to take the next one. Neymar kind of just says no, and 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 as he does that, he nudges into um, Messi, and there's rumors about him and Neymar's conflict. That he wants Neymar out of PSG. Apparently, Ramos is now the guy who's like 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 who's trying to uh, of, settle of all uh, the people. <laughs> uh, exactly. And the weirdest bit about all this is that Mbappe is kind of making Neymar into a good guy. And that's never really been... How the hell has that happened? How? Like, seriously, I I love Neymar, but he's always been known as the bad, like, like the the bad guy. And to see Neymar sort of being the good guy now and everything like that, it's crazy. But my thing is this is now, what's going on with Kylian Mbappe? So I've I've got like three points that I'm going to try and not dwell on too much, right? Messi and Neymar have a great relationship. And always will, probably, right? Time at Barcelona. Just um, just by the time he left, because he didn't want to be in a a messy shadow. Right, of course. But I think professionally, it's always been a good relationship. I think personally, it's even better than it is professionally. They had great success together. And I think Neymar could probably explain to Messi why he wanted to leave and join Paris Saint-Germain. And I think Messi would probably understand it. So first of all, this three-pronged, three-headed monster that you've got, right? Two of them are really, really close. The other one's a bit of a wild card. I'm sure he's a nice guy, right? I'm sure you could get along with him, become friends with him, but there's already a preset foundational friendship between the other two who are established superstars. Not saying Mbappe's not an established superstar, but the time that he joined PSG, he was not an established superstar. He was still kind of that wonder kid. You were giving him that wonder kid title, right? So there's that. Another thing, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. We don't know what passive aggressive behavior happens, what the body language is, what's said privately, how it happens in training, all this kind of stuff. We don't know the half of it. So I'm not going to just go out on a limb, throw Kylian Mbappe under the bus and say, this guy's a bad guy, da, 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 all this kind of stuff. I'm going to just approach it with, I can react to what I see, but I don't know. Right? Do, do you, and you, you get, you get yeah. the distinction, obviously. I'm not going to just write the guy off, right? The other thing. PSG have created this. This isn't Kylian Mbappe showing what he's really like. No, this is a guy who was out of contract, had all the leverage in the world, could have signed for any football club in the world, any of them. And PSG, with no leverage at all in the negotiation, gave him everything he wanted. Everything. Now, you're a young guy who's lived at Monaco, who's lived in Paris, you're in your home country, you've won, um, you've won international trophies, you've won domestic trophies, you've made big moments in Champions League, you're still not there yet, you've won leagues, da da da, all this stuff, you're being paid loads of money, right? You're getting, you're getting praise and and all this kind of stuff from, from other athletes, right? In other leagues and other sports and all this kind of stuff. You're the man. And you don't think that a 22, 23 year old young man with all this money and acclaim and all this stuff, that's not going to like inflate his ego a little bit. Uh, like PSG created this monster. Jack. If they didn't want this to happen, they needed to do something to kind of hold him back a little bit, whether that was not paying him as much or maybe, you know, having something as part of the contract, which means he still needs to abide by a couple of things. Because James, 
it's contractually agreed now. He can basically do whatever he wants. Jack, I don't disagree with you one bit. PSG created this monster. What do you expect? You must look at this from a point of view. No football player on earth has, has been given this much at this young age. Even Messi and Ronaldo's at their absolute best. Now, at, let's say at a young age coming up, they weren't given what Kylian Mbappe was given. He's virtually been given the whole of Paris. You yeah. know, there's 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 apparently something in his contract saying he he can make some managerial changes or player changes or, or like have to discuss with him with transfers and this and that. This is what PSG have created, and, and this also is the what credentials why... does he what credentials does he have for that, James? Seriously, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like what? Like, and, and again, I'm killing Mbappe has way more credentials than maybe you you or I do. But again, I'd still be like, well, what gives you the right? Yeah, Jack, this strike force should be. Be, being in champs should be in Champions League finals, but because of their failed ability to coexist is what's going to harm this team. They have, in my opinion, right now with all, all, all this stuff right now, they have no chance, no chance right. of winning the Champions League. Now, I want to say, and I wish I'm wrong because I'd like, I really do like Kylian Mbappe, I really do like Neymar, and I really do like Messi. I want to see PSG win it, but then it's not going to win it because this football club creates this sort of anarchy this craziness there and, and my biggest thing for me is that killing Mbappe made the worst decision of his life not joining Real Madrid not from the point of view of I'm talking about oh what's on the pitch I'm talking about off the pitch PSG can't control the ego right now because they created that if he would have joined Real Madrid all this sort of stuff here it doesn't happen because someone like Florentino Perez he's seen greater and better players come and go and he don't care who you are no, Cristiano Ronaldo wanted something I don't care who you are this is Real Madrid we are bigger than you bigger no player is bigger than the club and PSG have told Mbappe that yes you are bigger than PSG and this is to me what it's like this is to me what it's created think about it right now you players Messi you're playing next to Lionel Messi you're playing next to Neymar and like they're like like there's an issue what you like to me what you expect what well, and again really i think expect? i think the other thing that really bothers me as well james is like you know where did where did like the the nice like sincere humility thing come in you know i saw i saw some and because james the problem as well is it's the optics of the situation like i said i'm gonna try and refrain from commenting on his relationship with neymar and messi because like i said i don't know the whole story i'm not gonna i don't gonna throw the guy under the bus no but jack neymar <laughs> also liked the uh, name neymar liked the a, a, a video on on, on on like twitter talking about oh Mbappe is the president of PSG or the boss of PSG. Like, Jack, there is something know, there going on. I know that's bad too. But again, like I say, I don't know what has, has initiated that. Like, that's my thing. However, on the football field, James, that giving up on the play thing that we talked about to, to, at the beginning, you, you can't do that yet. You have no skin in the game as it relates to your longevity and, and all this kind of stuff. If if he, I'm t t knock on wood, all this kind of stuff. If he really hurts himself and can never play again, the game won't remember him like they remember some of these other greats. I saw, and, and James and the public is fickle, and it will they will turn on you. I've already seen tweets about Mbappe's tweeted about, oh, um, uh, I'm I'm three times the the cover of FIFA. I'm so proud. I'm so grateful. And then they said this is what Messi was doing at 23, and he was just holding a Ballon d'Or. You know, you need he needs to, a little bit of you're playing in the French league. You've done nothing in Europe yet, nothing internationally. Okay, fine. You're playing in the French league, which is a weak, it's the sixth strongest league in Europe right now. Um, and okay, internationally, fine. Champions League, you've done nothing, right? Well, Jack, you he has played the Champions League final. I think I think he's yeah. one of the youngest Champions League goal scorers. Like. That's fine, but I don't see I don't see a Champions League winners medal at all yeah, at this point. Right Messi there. Messi had one of this, so. I'm just saying, it's one of these things that really kind of is bothering me here because he's playing next to somebody who is the epitome of humility and the epitome of, he's, you know, Messi to many, many people's eyes is the greatest of all time. And Messi is still capable of not sh shouting his mouth off, not having all these contract demands, you know? Jack, footballers, I expect to have an ego. Sure, you, you have to, to, to be to successful. Me, to be Exactly, you have to be, if, if you want to be right. successful, you have to have an ego to you. But when it comes off as petulant and you being bigger than the team, that is completely, that can't work. And mm -hmm. I just hope somebody in PSG has the heart to look at that video right there. I get it. It's only six, it's only four, uh, let's say 15 second video and it can be taken out of contest. What I see there is not good enough and somebody should go to him and have a word with him. And in fact, if they have to stick it on him, stick it on him. Because sometimes I don't care who you are. 
I don't care who you are in this game. Sometimes you need your ego to be dropped a little bit yep. and stick it on them and tell them, that's not good enough. And if you want to take it further, let's take it further. If you want to get into a shouting match, like, um, let's get into a shouting match because that sort of stuff right there will kill a football team. I think he just feels vindicated because he has this contract. He has this validation now. That's and that's that. That's kind of the main problem. And and again, I think the reason why I'm I'm, I'm actually more um, involved in this uh, conversation than I than I originally thought I'd be. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. That's what's so frustrating because, like I say, we we just had a shining example of nearly two decades of of greatness unrivaled greatness the two greatest guys to ever do it and this is supposedly the next man up right this this and then maybe hot maybe somebody like harland or somebody like is the next man up and we're seeing stuff like this and i just feel a little bit like man i thought you were i thought you were better than that is kind of my it's kind of where, where my head's at right now uh, um again it doesn't help being also in that french team but i just hope that him and psg can turn this around get everybody together Getting, getting Mbappe's whatever's going on in his head get him to calm down just get everybody in that football club to calm down because Jack there's a Champions League win winning team there somewhere if they can get it out but I don't know what's going to go on I, I hope Mbappe can just get his head down because as I said as like as me and you know Jack there is a wonderful 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 oh, football yeah. player mm -hmm. in there Absolutely. arguably the best in the world right. hopefully he, he can sort himself out in, in, in that manner but guys tell me what you think right now uh, Mbappe, the video, is it even like the Neymar stuff? Comment down below. Let us know what, what you think. This is Box to Box Football, guys, and we will see you next time.